So how do they truly feel about you right now? We have the moon, the star. They're thinking about you a lot at night is what I'm feeling. When they have alone time, when they're laying in their bed, they are thinking about you very deeply. How are they truly feeling about you? We have the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> and the Empress. So they really adore you, is what I'm feeling with this Empress. They feel the depth of your being. Again, I really feel like they're imagining a lot of things at night. Um, a lot of fantasies at night but it's more than that it's like your energies merging as one there's a lot of desires here the passion is like really strong between you both right now this is like your souls merging in some cases like there's um very passionate thoughts and then your higher selves are interacting in those ways the empress there's some sort of fears as well your person has some fears and anxieties, like they're having sleepless nights as well because the moon is about fear, shadows, thinking worst case scenarios, but also with the imagery of this Knight of Pentacles, there's this snake sort of slivering around in the water as well. So that's like danger. There's like a feeling of danger um, in terms of fear, anxieties. Like the unknown, the moon is like fears of the unknown. So it's like, I really feel them going inwards. They're problem solving. They're worried about your connection or how to proceed forward. They are um, going through a lot of shadows. This could be them purging a lot of things from this false matrix. Them seeing clearly, this is them going deeply into their inner shadows. And look how it looks like these monsters and things. Um, <clears throat> the star is a lot of healing, okay? They, they want this healing so that you can come closer together. Um, there's, yeah, definitely uncertainty about the future. Maybe they're worrying about how you feel about them. Um, Diving deeply, trying to seek answers from the divine, from their higher self. Let's dive deeper into this. Their true feelings for you right now. <clears throat> Mirror, yeah, self-reflection. A lot of this. It's so deep right now. There's this otherworldly feeling. There is magic in the air. A lot of passion as well. Fears of loss, you know. They fear losing you. They're like, how do I get closer to you? In some cases, they're like, what do I say to you? Um, reflecting each other, you could both definitely be feeling these really intense energies right now. Being honest with themselves, some sort of wisdom and clarity is coming in through them doing this shadow work. Transformation on very deep levels. And yeah, it says shadow work. And that is literally going over and um, walking through these caves. It's like the internal landscape, the internal shadows, working through this, healing this to be able to move towards you. <clears throat> Some sort of mask, hiding, putting on a front, trying to impress you, insecurities, insincere, self-protection, manipulation. So they have some sort of mask. I really feel like they're in this kind of hermit mode because they're really going through something within their own individual life. For, for some of you, whatever this shadow represents, so... They're really, it's, they're, they're going inwards to connect with their own thoughts, their own intuition, their higher self and spirit. It's like they're praying to the divine for some sort of 
assistance or guidance to help them move through this shadow and again deeper into your connection because there's a deep longing here with the moon card this normally shows um, a wolf and a dog but they're sort of separated by a river but they're pining for each other like howling at the moon like um, longing for you very deeply <clears throat> Obsession, yeah. Again, this is like sleepless nights, um, constant thoughts. It could be, you know, thinking worst case scenarios again, seeing this snake here. But this is the Knight of Pentacles, um, building like a firm foundation, building on this connection, progress, a lot of positivity and healing. But fixated, passionate, can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, a lot of sexual tension and insane, like, burning desires right now. Betrayal. I feel like this is these are the wounds that are coming up that were locked in their subconscious. They've been betrayed. They've been heartbroken in the past. And um, there, there are fears of being heartbroken again. Um, in some cases, they could currently be feeling heartbroken, either in your connection or over something else. And... Um, these are the wounds they're trying to heal. They've been through some sort of deceptions or lies. Heartbreak, stabbed in the back. Separations, breakup, cheating, third party. So they're trying to heal these wounds so that they can open their heart to you. In some cases they may feel like in the dark. Because I was picking up darkness, you know, night time and, you know, the, the moon and the star. The moon is about fear. And I thought about this snake being a karmic situation. Like, they could be fearful. Because they're, they're like praying to the divine for answers or guidance. They could be fearful. Um of you moving on from them or walking away or something that you know this could be the deep fears of abandonment and rejection coming up yeah look at the bottom of the deck seeking reassurance so they're feeling a little bit all over the place or uncertain or intense uncertainties it's either about your connection or the massive transformations that are occurring within them because um, this is a major path of ascension and healing for you both. Wanting to know the future. Wanting to know how you feel about them. Yeah, look, scared of losing you. Wanting to feel secure in your connection. Missing you. Wanting to be close. And what did I just say about karma? Karmic. Tough lessons, codependency, comfort zone, temptation, not being true to self, avoiding shadow work, stuck and depressed. So some sort of karma is coming up. It is to be released though, because there is the star, a major arcana card, and it's all about healing that. We also have innocent as well. Pure, heart in the right place, naive, childlike, pure intentions, inexperienced, mean well, you can trust them. And fear, yeah, I, I feel like they, they fear some sort of abandonment or rejection um, and fear could be causing a fight flight or freeze within them excessive wiring stalling running avoidance yeah look sleepless nights thinking worst case scenarios but there's this innocence here within this connection this could be literally them thinking worst case scenarios about something but this innocence is like the purification of, of, of them, of their heart as well, like healing from these shadows, whatever these shadows may be. I feel like you, the viewer, many of you, you will know. It will be different for different people. 
what do they need to say to you? What do they need you to know? Yeah, I have to stand my ground. I do feel like they are going through a ton of shadow. It's bringing up fears and feelings of instability. So they are trying to sort of fight, fight these feelings and trying to find, stay stable, okay? So I feel like it could be them needing to go inwards with a mask here. It's like that hermit mode, having to protect themselves. Yeah, look, I have to protect myself. As I just said, that is at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands, something is, yeah, messing with their mind because Nine of Wands traditionally shows the guy with a bandage around his head trying to stand strong, stay strong as a storm is going to pass through. For some, this is a, re a huge release of karma within your person. Yeah, look, Tower, it's all falling apart. I feel like this is their fears, like they fear loss. They fear you moving on. Because I feel like this is a continuation of like yesterday's readings, which were similar tower moments or you know like i said there's just a huge metamorphosis in their day-to-day -day life and we have the death card transformation change is scary but worth it beneath this as well i know this is spiritual this is the hierophant um which is similar to the imagery traditionally on this empress looking up to the divine the monks looking up to the hierophant this person seeking some sort of guidance and safety and security seeking reassurance and um, as they're going through a metamorphosis or they fear loss or things are crumbling away um but it's all to help uplift them and get them moving along that path of consciousness. It's all about the ascension. Yeah, look, just to cl clarify at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords, I lay awake at night worrying about us. So if this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.